Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will talk about Italy cheap homes, how to find a cheap property in Italy when searching online. And here are the topics we're going to cover in this video. We are going to start with a little bit of an introduction, the divisions of Italy, and then moving on to prices per square meter in Italy, then the best sites to find real estate in Italy, which one of them is Idealista, they are not sponsoring me, but they are really good and you'll know why. Then we are also going to talk about mortgage for non-residents in Italy, moving on to examples of cheap property in Italy, then the famous 1 euro properties in Italy and what I think about them, and finally the residence permit in Italy for retirees, businessmen and EU citizens, so if you want to live in Italy, regardless of your nationality, we are going to cover that on the video as well. And before we start the usual talk, you already know it. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me if you want to plan your immigration strategy. And most importantly, subscribe. Let's start. We will start the video with a little bit of an overview of Italy with general information you may or may not know about this amazing place with wonderful coffee and pizza. Italy is a country in Europe with 20 regions. It has two main islands, which are Sicily and Sardinia, but if we consider every smaller island in the country, the total number of them is 450. Italy, as a large Western European country, is definitely not the cheapest place to bargain for real estate, but good deals exist. It is important to note that there are severe price differences between different regions of Italy, and also within the same region. The capital of a province will oftentimes have prices several times higher than more rural areas in the very same province. And when we talk about money and real estate, we have to talk about prices per square meter or feet in Italy, but in Italy it's mostly meters. As you probably know, in Italy the further it goes south, the cheaper things get, and that is usually true for real estate prices. Although in some touristy areas in the south of Italy, like Positano or Taormina, you will find extremely high prices for real estate. In most cases, however, when comparing similarly sized cities, the south of Italy will be cheaper than the north of the country. The highest prices per square meter in Italy are in Milan and Rome. Milan is the wealthiest city in northern Italy, which is the wealthiest region in the country. Rome is obviously the capital of Italy, and for that reason alone, it comes as no surprise to see it ranking high in terms of real estate prices. The region of Basilicata in the southern part of the country is, according to some sources, the most inexpensive region of Italy when it comes to property prices. You can check this map, the link is in the description to see prices per square meter in different parts of Italy, including regions and cities. You can also check the description of this very video for the three most popular real estate websites in Italy. We have immobiliare.it, idealista.it and casa.it. So what is Idealista? Idealista is a multinational website focused on selling and rent properties in different countries, such as Portugal, Spain and Italy. Today we're obviously going to talk about the Italian version, and we can use Idealista to find cheap houses and apartments in Italy. Let's go and check some three examples I searched for you of different inexpensive houses in Italy. So, we're going to start with this beautiful house in Chieti. Let's take a look at the pictures. Seems actually pretty decent, you probably will want to renovate it, but for starters, you can actually move in. And let's see on the map where it is. We have the description in Italian, but we can also have it in English. That's it, actually not very far from the Aeroporto Internazionale d'Abruzzo. So it's actually not that secluded if you want to buy a house in this area, very, very close to Chieti. The second option is here in Cassano delle Morge. Let's take a look at the pictures. 
also not in the best shape, but at the same time, it's relatively decent conditions if you want to move in straight away. The price is 35,000 euros. And let's check. We have also a description in English. And let's take a look at the map. This is probably the most secluded example, but it's not extremely far from Bari, which has an international airport as well. And the third example is in a village called Palata. Not sure how to pronounce that. Also with a description in English. And let's take a look at the pictures first. This is the one with the best conditions. Actually, the house is actually pretty decent. Old furniture, but however, it's relatively acceptable for starters, considering the price. That's the outside of it. And the price is 30,000 euros. Let's take a look at the map. More of a secluded location in the Comune di Palata. It's actually sort of in the middle of nowhere. But, however, the price is very appealing. Let's go back to the studio. Now we're back to the studio, although I'm actually in the same place. And we're going to talk about mortgage for non-residents in Italy. Non-residents can obtain a mortgage in Italy through an Italian bank. So if you work in the UK, if you work in the US and you have any income and you can show this income, there's a good chance you can also get a property in Italy, even if you want to get a mortgage, if you don't have the money up front to buy the whole property or if you don't want to do it. You prefer to invest in real estate in Italy through a mortgage. It is possible not all banks do that and the interest rates for non-residents are usually higher than for those who are residing in Italy. Now a few considerations when buying a cheap house in Italy if it is in a secluded area, which is most often the case since the cheap deals are usually not in the center of a large city. You probably need a car. It will be difficult to find tenants if you want to buy to let or make some kind of rural tourism or any kind of Airbnb. It's probably not going to be the easiest task to find clients and tenants for the property. The property will have very low liquidity in case you want to sell it in the future. And one great advantage is you can probably bargain the price heavily when you're going to buy it. But you can also expect the same thing when you're going to sell this very property. Moving on to the famous 1 euro properties in Italy. If you have considered buying property in Italy, you probably have heard of the famous 1 euro properties in Italy. So I will share my opinion on those. As you probably know, the 1 euro houses are just available in some very specific towns and villages in Italy and definitely not in big cities. As you can see on the map, and the link for this map is in the description, the houses for 1 euro can be found in most parts of Italy, but the majority of them are in the south of the country. Moreover, if you click on them individually, you will see that they are in very small settlements, oftentimes in places which can be hard to access by public transport. On top of that, in most cases, you will also need to commit yourself somehow to the houses, either by moving to the town and or by investing a minimal amount of money to renovate the property. Those requirements are usually tied to the contract of the 1 euro house. Are they a good or a bad deal? Depends on what you're looking for. But despite the attractive price of 1 euro, you have to bear in mind that most of these houses will generate some level of liability to their owners. In my opinion, it is usually a better deal to buy a cheap house without any liability than an 1 euro house with a high level of commitment. And now moving to the last part of the video. If you're considering moving to Italy, you should probably bear in mind that you have to register to stay in the country, especially if you're considering staying longer than 90 days. If you are in European Union or European Economic Area citizen, you don't have to worry much. Just come to Italy and sort your paperwork while you look for a house. 
you don't have to deal with the Italian embassy in your country before moving to Italy. If you are a non-EU citizen, things are always much more complicated, but not impossible. The best residence permit if you are a real estate investor in Italy and you actually want to live in the country is the elective residence. The main requirement of the elective visa is to show you have a passive income of 32,000 euros per year for a single applicant and 38,000 euros per year if you are applying as a couple. You need to spend six months per year in Italy at least to keep renewing this type of residence permit. It leads to permanent residence after five years living in the country. There are other options as well. Check our other YouTube videos on how to move to Italy and to other European countries. You can also check our videos on cheap real estate in Spain and Portugal. And that's it for today's video. Write down in the comments section if you have been to Italy, if you would like to buy property in Italy and reside in the country. And before we end the video, if you want to travel, move or invest about, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, the link is in the description. And most importantly, so subscribe. See you next time.